In this power mill next gen cam highlights video, we're going to be taking a look at the toolpath divide option. Now, this toolpath divide option allows us to segment our toolpath based on specific criteria that we need to meet uh, to be able to help us with maybe separating an individual toolpath into many segments of a toolpath. Now, the most used application for this is in the mold making tool and die industry where we find ourselves with a roughing toolpath that runs for quite a long time. Now, if you look at the statistics on this calculated toolpath for this specific insert cutter, you'll find that we have it at about 13 hours of runtime. Now, the inserts are going to break down quite a bit throughout that 18 hours, depending on the inserts and the cutters. Uh, however, what Power Mill allows us to do is utilize this divide tool to be able to segment the cutting toolpath into many different toolpaths. Uh, we do have the ability to do this based on either angle or direction of cut, depending on what you're doing. Uh, but the most used options are here within our length and our time, or even sometimes within the retractions. It will separate all the retractions out. This is more of like an edit that you would use for a specific function. However, if we look at time, if we know how long the inserts are going to last, we could separate this into, say, uh, I don't know, let's, uh, let's say about 200 minute segments and then we can apply and it will let us know in this query box that it's going to separate this toolpath into seven different segments. So we can hit yes to this. And that's going to go ahead and slice our toolpath, adding the appropriate leads and links where it needs to and segment the different toolpaths that we need to be able to rough this and change our inserts in between. Now from here, we would probably go ahead and make an NC program out of all these roughing toolpaths. So I'm just going to go ahead and create an NC program. We'll do this based off of our machine tool here just to save some time. I'll add to the NC program. From here, what you typically would do is then maybe insert your text blocks into the NC program that set the operator up to be able to uh, maybe do their insert changes in between the toolpaths. I hope you found this power mill highlight helpful, uh, and thanks for watching.